So hi everyone and welcome to this uh, very short video on how to forecast using a vector error correction model inside of R. So uh, if you haven't seen the past few videos, so I'll just do a bit of a quick recap and I'll link those videos down in the description box below together with the codes and the data set. Uh, we essentially uh, tried to see if uh, there was co-integration in our example uh, using GDP, CPI, and M3. And we do that using the Johansson co-integration test. And we determined that there was one co-integrating relationship. And based on the lag selection criteria, the optimal number of lags to use is five. Hence, for a VECM model, since we subtract one, we ended up using four lags. And in the last video, we built the VECM model. Uh, and uh, the VECM model was specified in this manner. And what we needed to do is, in order for us to run the diagnostic tests, we needed to convert this VECM model, which we interpreted, into a VAR system. So we used the VEC to VAR command to be able to transform this VECM system to a VAR system. And we, uh, we did the diagnostic tests, as well as generated the impulse response and the variance decomposition. So in this very short video, we're just going to... Uh, highlight forecasting since uh, this is a typical application as well of the vector error correction model and to do that we're going to build an object let's call it forecast and we're going to use the predict command using this model object which we built in the last video model one var for the next 12 periods so since this is measured in uh, uh in quarters so we're going to generate data for uh the next uh 12 quarters so that would translate to approximately three year ahead forecast using a 95% confidence bound. So if we do that, we should create this forecast uh, variable and uh, object rather. And we're going to use the fan chart command to generate the uh, forecast and to show it in the graph. So this is the fan chart for GDP. This one is the fan chart for M3. So we can see that uh, the uncertainty, of course, goes uh, higher and higher as we forecast longer and longer into the future. So we're going to create a fan chart just to you know, give a bit of context. We're going to create a fan chart, which is this graph here of the forecast object, which is this one of uh, a specific variable. In this case, the names uh, specifies which variable you'd like to plot in the fan chart. The main is the title. The X lab is the a horizontal axis label and the Y lab is the, um, the vertical axis label. And uh, if we run it, we're going to run for all three. So this is for M3. Then for CPI, it goes a bit like that. So we see that increasing trend as well. Now, if you want to see what the forecasts are, you can just type forecast. And it will show you that uh, you have here, you should have your three panes. One for GDP, one for CPI, one for M3. Those are the elements inside of our uh, model one var object. So those are the variables under consideration. And... We have here Fcast, which is essentially our point estimates or our point forecasts. Then we see our uh, lower and our upper bound. So those are like uh, the confidence intervals inside of it. And I think this is uh, the, the length of uh, the general length of that confidence interval. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that video on a very simple application of Beckham, which is forecasting. And I'll see you in the next video. So thank you for your attention.